Are you frustrated and you don't know how to edit your closet? You don't know what to remove and what to keep? Well, in this video, I will tell you what a stylist would remove from your closet, especially if you feel like you have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear. You don't know what to remove and what to keep. So based on what I have done with my own closet, it will be so much easier to, so you can do it for yourself. If you are a female entrepreneur and this channel is for you, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Wednesday. Over the past 15 years, I've been a stylist. I sold many celebrities. I also helped many female entrepreneurs develop their personal styles. And if you are confused, you don't know what is your personal style, you don't know how to get started. Well, I have very fun quiz that's gonna help you not only to narrow down your personal style, but I also give you a list of must-have pieces and a list of brands to get you started. And I will link it in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, if you're one of those women that feel that you have a closet full of clothes, but nothing to wear, you're holding on to clothes, wishing to wear one day, or possibly wish to wear when you lose, let's say like 10 pounds. Well, you're not the only one. I've seen millions of closets from different women who had exactly the same, uh, the same problem. And here's a little stat for you if you didn't know this, but most people approximately wear only like 20% from their closet, that's it. So, you know, that's one more reason to remove what's unnecessary and really retain all the pieces you will love to wear to all your lifestyle activities. So, I recently reorganized and removed all the things from my closet and I do it pretty regularly. I do it, I would say like every three, maybe like every four months and everything is so much better, so much more organized and helps me really create um, and install all my clothes. Now, I kept a few pieces right here for the purpose of this video to show you why I removed certain pieces and why I kept certain, certain pieces as well. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you a really fun little tool that I use all the time in order to um, help me organize the clothes on a rack. This little thing here, this little device is super helpful. It's called a rack divider and I use it all the time when I uh, was styling. I used to um, use it all the time when I was styling celebrities and I had like six racks of clothes with so many things there that was super helpful. Now I use it to just help me divide clothes and keep everything organized on a rack. And you can also use a dry and erase marker here to keep everything even more organized. You can label everything. It's just so, uh, this is great. Now, if you want to get a pack of those little rig dividers, I will link it in the description below, just in case you want one. Now, let's get started. Step one, remove all the pieces you haven't worn for a long time. Now, if you have pieces in your closet that have been there for a really, really long time and you wish to wear them one day, well, it's time to say goodbye, okay? Now, there might be pieces that you want to wear when you lose weight. And again, it's up to you, but I find that that never happens. I kept a few pieces here on, a, here on this rack to show you why I'm going to get rid of it. All right, so this little shirt I bought like maybe say eight years ago before I had my daughter and I used to wear it, this, I used to wear this shirt a lot. Now that time I was a little bit thinner, my boobs were smaller and I wore it for many different occasions. Now this is, this, you know, this is a classic piece. It is a classic shirt. It has a little bit of like a boxier a style boxier shape but since my body changed and after getting pregnant this shirt just doesn't fit me anymore and of course i was promising myself just like you that i will lose all my weight and i will be able to wear it one day but that never happened so if you have some pieces that just have been sitting in your closet and you really you wish to wear one day or you you know uh, don't wear them at all they just sit in your closet um, well, then you can either sell it, you can gift it, you can donate it, maybe you can throw it away. It really all depends on the piece. I will dry clean this shirt and I will just simply sell it. Remove wrong silhouettes. Now that may be a little bit difficult if you don't know what your body shape is and which silhouette 
fits you but don't worry i have this video that walks you through exactly um, all different body shapes different body types and i will link it in the description below so you can watch it right after now if you know what your body shape is um, you might still have certain silhouettes certain clothes that might not be the best for your body type now one of those silhouettes is this particular blazer now this blazer has a very broad shoulders and extra padding added to the shoulders and it simply adds volume to my shoulder line now since um, i have an inverted triangle body type this silhouette is just not the best for me it adds volume and i don't feel comfortable wearing those type of silhouettes anymore now again it's really important to understand um, that our body changes right all the time especially when you get older and uh, maybe you might have a, you had a child or a couple kids you gain weight and since our body um, have changed it's really not good idea to keep all the clothes that don't fit our body shapes anymore now if you have some of those silhouettes again it's the easiest way that you can do is to donate you can sell it you can gift it um, I would probably give this blazer to my sister since her shape is completely different from mine and I think it's gonna, it, this will fit her really, really well. Remove clothes that don't represent your style. Now, this is tricky one and the most difficult one. It's, um, it was difficult for me as well. When I was editing, um, editing my closet, my style changed a little bit and I used to wear a lot of prints. I used to wear a lot of trendy pieces and I recently started to invest a lot of like classic pieces, classic silhouettes. One of my favorite sweaters I used to wear a lot is this Prabal, Prabal Gurung sweater. And I loved this sweater um, in just, you know, I used to wear it all the time, but it, this doesn't, it really fits into my aesthetics anymore. And this is very, very trendy piece um, and just simply doesn't, you know, I simply don't wear it anymore. Now, don't be afraid really to get rid of the pieces that might not fit into your new style anymore. And um, we change all the time. Our aesthetics changes all the time. So what you loved, you know, a few years ago might not suit you anymore. So because this weather comes from a designer's brand, I will probably sell it and I will use profits to invest in new and updated styles. Remove clothes that need to be replaced. Now, this is a super easy one. If you own any pieces that you wear a lot, at some point those pieces will get old and you're gonna have to replace it. Now, I'm obviously I'm not talking about undergarments, but rather about certain, uh, you know, styles, certain silhouettes that you might have worn for a really long time. It just needs to be upgraded for a newer version. Now, for me, is this white, um, white long sleeve shirt. I had this shirt for a really, really long time and I actually wore it to a Polish, I think it was a Polish version of like American next top model back, I think that was in 2016 and I had it in my closet uh, since that appearance like years ago. Now, this is a classic silhouette. It's a great fabric. It's super easy uh, to wear. Um, and I have been wearing it for a really, really long time. I had it in my closet for such a long time that just needs to be replaced. And you're gonna uh, want to do it with some of your clothes. Now, obviously, if you wear your clothes after a while, the color might, you know, fade a little bit, the fabric might lose that elasticity a little bit, the silhouette might lose its shape, that's just totally normal. And those are the signs that you should just replace those pieces. So let's talk about what to keep and we're going to start with basics. Now I promise you, you have never too many basics in your closet. Now what do I consider um, a basic? It would be a simple black and white tea in your favorite style it can be a crew neck and can be a v-neck dark classic jeans can be skinny can be straight as long as the wash is dark and clean no holes then white button down also black and navy classic blazer and those are just basic pieces you should have in your closet and as long as those pieces are in good condition a stylist will never remove them from your closet now 
let's talk about what else you should keep. You should keep pieces that you're emotionally connected to. And I have a couple pieces uh, right here. So the first one is my wedding suit. Yep, I got married in a suit. And now I won't try it for you because I simply can't fit in that suit anymore. But because I am off obviously emotionally attached to it, I will always keep it in my closet. And I also have this long dress, it's right here, and it's been in my closet for a really, really long time. And that's a dress I wore when my husband took me to his best friend's wedding. I wore it to that event, and again, this has been in my closet for over 20 years. And now because you know I'm emotionally attached to, the, to those pieces, um, they're gonna stay in my closet forever. Now, if you own some of those pieces, again, it can be you know wedding dress, it can be a piece, maybe a clothing that uh, you got from your mom, you got from your grandma, and you don't wear it, but it it has an emotional value to you. Then absolutely, you should keep it. Just you want to make sure that you store it inside the garment bag. So now you know exactly how to edit your closet. Let me know you have done it. If yes, let me know how was your experience. I would love to hear from you. So comment below. And again, if you are a female entrepreneur, this channel is for you. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.